Another one related to psychedelics is the way that many spiritual teachers actually uh, hold and talk about psychedelics. And this has been really disappointing to me because you would expect spiritual teachers and gurus, you know, to be more conscious and aware, more developed, and therefore to have less biases and less double standards. But you'd be shocked at how many double standards these gurus hold. For example, a guru can can talk with a straight face about how psychedelics do not produce genuine enlightenment or genuine permanent awakenings. And, um, and yet, when you apply that same standard to their own workshops, retreats, books, videos, do those produce permanent awakenings and enlightenments? No. Of course not. See, how come if, if you go to a 10-day Vipassana retreat and you do that, you don't go complaining to your guru like, I haven't had my permanent awakening. Your guru, what will, will your guru tell you? Your guru will say, well, that's because it takes years and decades of these Vipassana retreats to have your, you know, your radical awakenings. So be patient and keep doing it. And that's what students do. And they do it for 10, 20 years and they still don't awaken. And yet they keep doing it. But if you go to a guru and talk about a psychedelic, and then the guru will say, oh, well, yeah, you took it once, and what did it do for you? Did it make you enlightened? Did it make you all spiritual and wise? Well, maybe it didn't in this one trip, but, you know, one session of meditation, one meditation retreat is also not going to do much for you. So you got to be comparing apples to apples here. You see, this is a gross double standard. If you took as many psychedelics as many hours as you meditated as your Buddhist, for example, guru uh, suggests that you meditate, you know, like for 10 years, you know, let's say one hour a day, every day for 10 years, you know, that would be a typical regimen that your Buddhist guru might suggest for you, maybe even longer. Um, if you did psychedelics for that long, <laughs> Uh, where would you be with your spiritual development? See? But the guru doesn't think of it that way. The guru says like, oh, well, you take your psychedelic once. Yeah, but if you meditate for an hour once, what is, meditating for an hour once isn't going to do anything for you, of course. 